Welcome back into another video and uh, in this video we are going to build something called a anti roll bar. Before we try and build it here is the anti roll bar script and it's already been set up for us. So before we go in ahead and actually build this script I'm just going to show you the difference between having it on or off. So first we're going to set it to off, we're going to hit play and let's see how this car will behave. Okay, you get the idea, it is going very, very sideways. So now what I'm going to do is go into the same script and just enable it. So here is the gameplay with the anti-roll bars working. So we're going to see immediate difference in driving. Let's take a quick look at how we can build this anti roll bar. So basically how it works is that it takes in this rigid body and in real life the anti roll bars work something like the car suspension. So when one side of the car goes down, the other one goes up and the anti roll bar kind of does the opposite of that. So in order for us to simulate it, we would have to manipulate with the springs. So in order to make our life a little bit simpler, we are using this rigid body and we're manipulating it with the rigid body. So here's the script, you can download it in the video description, and the script is kind of simple. So first you get the rigid body, the rigid body must be attached to the car object, obviously. So it takes in the rigid body and it takes in two of the wheels. This is the wheel head that lets us read all about the wheel. So we can read the wheel slip, the wheel point and basically everything regarding to the wheel. So first we check if the grounded is true and we check the grounded with the same hit. To simulate the anti-roll bars in here we are only taking two of the wheel colliders because we don't need all the four wheels. So we need one of the wheels from the left and one of the wheels from the right. So I'm using in here the rear ones. This is the rear left, this is the rear right, and I'm setting it to 5000 entry roll. You can set it to a greater value and it will roll obviously less, but it will cause it to slip more. So 5000 is kind of the sweet spot. Next, we're calculating the travel distance for the entry roll bars for the left and here is for the right, then we're setting the anti-roll force as a sum of those two, and then we are adding the force at the position at the car. So this car is the rigid body, and we're adding some force to the rigid body. So obviously we're checking if the grounded is true, and we're also checking if the grounded is true for the other wheel. So again, you can download the script down in the video description, and off camera I've been building this wheels manager, and it kind of works perfectly fine. So I made the grip a little bit greater, I can lower it to like this for example and now if we hit play and if I try to handbrake we're gonna see that the wheels will stop and they will also lose grip. Okay so as we can see the wheels are stopped. Okay, so thank you for watching. I will be doing another video explaining how I built this camera controller for this car. And thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next videos.